Hey guys, welcome to Woodwork Life. I'm Rick. When I first started this channel, I was designing my logo, my cousin Gustavo. I really picture my logo as something tangible, something I actually made and was in the real world. Today I'm going to make that a reality. Using nothing but cordless router from Rigid, a little bit of fire for good measure, and some cool offcuts that I got at the lumber yard. Here's an awesome walnut crotch, and I've also got a maple burl. Now I'm no professional sign maker, but if I was, I wouldn't be making a sign this way. Almost all professional signs nowadays are made using a CNC machine. But I'll show you some of the basics on how to get professional results in your own small shop. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video because I've got a giveaway going on. Thanks for watching Woodwork Life, and please like and subscribe if you do enjoy this video. The first step is going to be to get your logo enlarged to the right size so that it'll fit your sign. In my case, my signs are a little bit smaller so I just could fit it all on a nice 8x10 sheet of paper. I took my logo into Photoshop, inverted the colors, and enlarged it and printed it out. This should be good enough for my signs, but you may need a larger format printer or to print on multiple sheets if you're printing a larger sign. This is one of the initial mistakes I made. I used kids stick glue instead of uh, hot glue or double-sided tape. If I had to do it again, I'd probably use something like uh, hot glue. I think it'd probably work better without clogging the router bit and holding down all the spots. Plus you can put it right behind all the letters so you won't cut them out by accident like I did a few times. While you're waiting for your glue to dry, it's a good time to think about what kind of router bit you're going to use. Tons of options, but really three most common. For most of your modern minimalist fonts, you'd want to use a straight bit. That's all I'm going to be using today. For your more classic texts like Times New Roman, stuff that's more serif-y, you would use a V-bit. Finally, if you have bad taste or are just stuck in the 90s, you can use a cove bit to carve fonts like Comic Sans or Wingdings, whatever you guys are into. So with a shape like this that has more negative space, you want to make sure that you plan your cuts. So you want to clear out a lot of this bulk from the outside edges and then work your way from the outside in. That way the router base is always supported by material. You definitely want to wear all your safety gear for sign carving because your face is going to be right up in the action. Those first couple cuts can be intimidating, but don't worry about it. Just take it slow and easy. Be cognizant of which way your bit's spinning. If you're cutting into your wood, sometimes the bit can pull you along. So sometimes back cutting some of these details can be a little bit easier. Here's where I switched to carpet tape after my glue failed. Just carving out those final details. couldn't be happier with how it turned out. I wanted to put a little char around the letters so that after I spray painted them white, the black would still show up when I sanded it down. I, I wanted to use that to kind of make the white letters stand out a little bit. Have you used one of these propane torches? They're ridiculous. I can't believe these things are legal. They're seriously little flamethrowers. While the paint dried on the first sign, I quickly knocked out the other. The walnut was a lot easier to machine than the hard maple. This little cordless router really handled everything like the champ though. I only went through two 5 amp hour batteries during the whole process. It was nice not having a cord to catch you up. It was essentially a loud mechanical pencil.
a lot deeper char on the YouTube logo for more contrast with the darker wood. Next, I sanded off all the char from my YouTube logo and sanded off the white spray paint from my Woodwork Life logo. And finally, it was time for some finish. And we're done! So the signs were really easy and turned out really awesome. I love how they're not exactly perfect the way they would if they came off a CNC machine. It really shows you that somebody put time and effort into making them. I, I, I didn't go overboard with the char. I just wanted the black to kind of surround the lettering a little bit, just to make that white pop a little bit. Um, on the uh, YouTube sign, I did give it a little bit deeper char just so that uh, wood grain would stand out on the lettering. Um, so I, I love the way both these things turned out. I'm gonna hang them up here in my shop wall. Also, as promised, and, and thank you guys for all your involvement, um, I've been trying out these uh, Isotunes headphones. These things just came out in September. Um, I love the things. They're, they're part of my personal protection package now. I wear them around my shop every day. These are uh, ANSI certified sound protection devices, which means you can wear them on a job site or in a loud area. They're, they're just like earplugs, but they hook up to your phone with Bluetooth so you can play your tunes. They're also OSHA approved so you can use them all day without any hearing damage. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give away a set of these standard ISO tunes. Just put a comment down below. I'll pick a random comment and I'll give away a set of these. And then I've also got a set of uh, ISO tunes Pro. So I'll give these away through the contest for my website. I'll drop the link for that down below. And uh, I'll leave that open for a month and uh, then I'll pick a random winner. So thanks for watching today and I really appreciate all your guys' involvement. If you did like this video, please drop me a like down below. It really helps out. Drop a comment. Let me know if you have any sort of, you know, recommendations or any, anything you learned from this video. It also gets you entered into the contest for the headphones. Thanks for watching. And remember to keep your tools sharp and to keep your mind even sharper.